stuck on the Google account verification screen after resetting your phone. If you're looking for a way to bypass FRP on Android 13, you might have noticed that most old tutorials no longer work. Google and major phone manufacturers have significantly tightened security on Android 13, making most old FRP bypass tricks, such as TalkBack, Quick Share, or APK installation, no longer effective on Android 13. But don't worry, this video will show you a simple, effective methods to safely bypass FRP on your Android 13 device. If you're wondering if there's a way to bypass FRP on Android 13 without a PC, the honest answer is, for most devices, no. Why do non-PC methods rarely work on Android 13? Security patches, any vulnerabilities that could allow a PC-free bypass are quickly patched by manufacturers. Limited to rare models, you might find a video demonstrating a trick for an obscure device, but it won't work on major brands like Samsung, Google Pixel, or Xiaomi. Restricted settings. Android 13 blocks APKs from enabling accessibility permissions, breaking most older click and trick bypass methods. Outdated tutorials for Android 11 12 no longer work. Clickbait websites that never offer real solutions. Dangerous APK downloads that may contain malware or steal your data. If you're looking for a PC free FRP bypass on Android 13, you're probably wasting your time. Using a PC remains the most straightforward, reliable, and secure solution. The only reliable option left is to use a dedicated FRP bypass tool for Android 13, DroidKit, which is one of the most highly rated FRP bypass software on Android 13. Unlike those high-risk APK tricks, it provides a guided process that automatically handles the technical steps. It supports Samsung, Google Pixel, Xiaomi, and many other brands running Android 13. Even covers almost all Android models on Android 6 to 15. Firstly, free download and launch DroidKit on your PC, then select the FRP bypass mode. Now connect your FRP lock device with a USB cable and click on the start button. After that, the configuration file will be prepared for your device. Now click the Start to Bypass button, then follow the instructions shown to put your phone in recovery mode and get your system version. Then hit the Next button. Now follow the instructions to complete the corresponding settings. After completing the setting, it will start to disable the FRP lock. When the bypass process completes, your Android 13 phone will be restarted and you can instantly regain full access to your device. The above is the most suitable Android 13 FRP bypass tool DroidKit recommended in this video, which can effectively help you remove the FRP lock on any Android phone. If this video helped you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech tips and tutorials. See you next time.